Welcome to Tampa, Raymond James Stadium, and while it is indeed home to the 2021 Super Bowl champion Buccaneers, it is also the home field for the USF Bulls and a clash that we have in store today. Today, two teams get set to square off in an interconference battle in the AAC. As we'll see, the Memphis Tigers taking on the South Florida Bulls. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Memphis ready to kick it off and get things started. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. First down for the offense. Using his legs, it's right. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Four wide receivers on second and inches. They might try to take a shot. Give to the running back. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. And the Bulls want to crank the tempo. Brown will throw it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, Reese. Just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front, and they're able to get to the quarterback. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. Keeps looking downfield. And this defense is bringing the heat another sack. It is so beautiful when I get you behind the sticks in guaranteed passing situations because guess what? I don't have to fire off and play run. I'm going and getting the quarterback and getting him on the ground. That's what defensive linemen live for. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Bulls will line up to punt it away. On to kick it away. Waves the arm for the fair catch, and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And he's knocked down. Tell you what, that read game really slows you down defensively, kind of makes you play responsibility football. And when you get chunks like that on first down as an offense, I would continue to come back to it. Now on second down. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. Fires to the middle. He makes a catch. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? 
No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Pulls and throws out the RPO. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. The quick passing game does several things. One, it doesn't let the pass rush get to you. Those great defensive linemen, the ball's coming out so fast they can't get there. And then what else? It gets me ahead of the sticks. I don't have to worry about getting in long yardage and predictable situations. To the air, it's Hennigan. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Tackled after picking up the first down. You got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. Memphis just keeps moving the chains on this drive. They're set up with another first down. They try to pop a run on the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, you live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. That time, the defense called it at the perfect time. The linebacker able to make the stop in a short game. And from the offense's perspective, that's probably uh, making a little something out of nothing. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He's looking to throw. And it's an incomplete pass over the middle. Just didn't seem like the quarterback and his intended target were on the same page there. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Oh, look what I found. The offense keeps it. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up. You're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big time break for the offense. Memphis will be forced to punt. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Snag in the middle. It's Anderson. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. Anderson with the carry. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Third and short from the 28. Let's see if this is four down territory or if they just pick up the first here. They'll try to run for it. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Well, the defense got the stop there on third and one. Let's see if they can do it again here on fourth and inches, Dave. I just got to find a way to fall forward, be physical, and work on this all week. You know you're going for it. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. This one will be a 45-yard attempt, and he'll kick it from the left side. Never a doubt. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. I'll tell you, this is not an easy place to play on the road, especially at nighttime. This crowd, they get loud. That's the way it's been so far, but they have a nice drive to open it up. They're able to execute. They put themselves in field goal range, knock it through the uprights. They did exactly what they needed to do, taking a 3-0 lead here early on the road. That's impressive. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. 
looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. From the gun, the running back has it. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. And the Bulls headed quickly to the line. He'll pull it on the read. Thrust that arm out. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Power football with the run. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. On the run, it's right. And this one will be stopped for no gain. No gain on the play. Brings up third down. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Brown wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. It's complete. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. Unloads to the wideout. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Movement here from the tight end. The give to the tailback. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And you can tell that play went nowhere from the start. It was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah, he got in the backfield so quick, the running back had absolutely no chance. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Steps away. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. We talk a lot about this at quarterback, right? Hard focus downfield, soft focus around him. He wanted to throw that downfield. He just felt the pressure. He knew he had to get out of danger. He was able to do that, use his speed, go get north up the field for a first down. Well done. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Quarterback feeling that pressure, and he's knocked down at the 42. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. They've got some serious work to do to keep that last one from messing up this drive. Second and 19. Out of the gun, the give to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The 
They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Brown will throw it. Not able to hook up there, incomplete. Third and long situation. They try to go screen. I think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone and they could get those offensive linemen down the field, but the defense sniffed it out, forcing the incompletion. And they're running out the kicker to give it a try. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the uprights. He missed it. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And come on now, O-line. You got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one to get you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. You got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Doyle. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit and let's keep going. They're facing a third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Unloads to the right. Got his man! He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. You got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far on third down. Memphis coming to the line with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback on the keeper. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Well, not much the defense could do there. The defensive end crashed down thinking the running back had it, but nice job of the ball handling there by the QB. Just trying to avoid negative plays, continue to put stress on the defense. That's what he does there. And that's a play this guy can run in his sleep, too. They rep this over and over and over. It's like clockwork for this guy. Tackle, but he has a first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. The Tigers are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Really need to find a productive play this time on second and long. From the gun, the ground game. Little too soft in that run defense. He picks up four to the 32. Now facing a third and long. Looking to pass. It's Hennigan. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. 
Well, that's not Lamar Jackson back there scrambling around. This is a guy the defense felt like if we can get him out of the pocket and flush him, we can get after him and chase him, bring him down. And they did that one pretty easy there, getting the sack. Memphis will send the punt team onto the field. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And the ball will bounce at the four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. On the run, it's right. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he's running in the open. And after gobbling up some serious yardage and showing off those wheels, he's finally out of bounds. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach, you saw it on that play. They're going to go right back to him on first down. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. The Bulls want to move quickly. Hand off from the shotgun. They make the stop after a pickup of three balls at the 18. You have to wonder, after missing a field goal on the last drive, how are they going to play this third down? Off the play fake. Fires to the wideout. And it's picked off at the goal line. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. Rain, sleet, snow, sun shining. I don't care. I get interceptions. Give me that rock. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. Handoff from the gun. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. Now on first and 10 from the 26. Dropping back, it's Hennigan trying to get to him. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. The defense has had some bad stuff happen to them today, but one bright spot for them has been the pass rush. They've shown the ability to get after the opposing quarterback. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. He finds his man. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Safe completion on the screen. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks. And you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. 
South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. And boy, they missed an opportunity last time throwing that pick in the red zone, David. Yeah, and you got to put that frustration behind you. You can't turn it over. That's that's a cardinal sin. No better than that, Jesse. You can't take points off the board. But you got to move on. I, you do. I, I think he just got way too overeager down in, in the red zone that last drive. So just come out here, trust your reads, trust what your coaches have told you to do, and just go out and execute the offense. And the Bulls moving quickly to the line. They're getting this guy lathered up. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch him get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Out of the gun, the inside give. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. And that last run is just a nice job seeing the hole, exploding through it. He has had a heck of a night. Now with that carry, over 100 yards on the game. That's the mark you really want to hit as a running back, and he's got that here tonight. Goes to the option. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. The Bulls will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Memphis has the ball back, and the offense ready to go to work. The give to the back. Fighting off the defender. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line, second and seven. To the air, it's Hennigan. Quickly out to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. It's a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, on that third down play, I think the quarterback's got to do a little bit of a better job, really selling the pass. I think he kind of hurried it up too fast, got the ball to the running back. He didn't fool anybody. Back got tackled for loss. Now it's fourth. Memphis will be forced to punt. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And the Bulls come to the line in the hurry-up. Off play action. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. And the tackle is made, but not before that completion gets them 30 plus. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. Starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the catch. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. 
And as we get deep in this first half, a first and goal and a chance to take the lead before the break. He's got it. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. I tell you, this slot receiver, he really does give his quarterback a nice option. Runs really good routes. He's got nice hands. You saw it on that last play. They've moved him forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. To the edge, it's right. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one yard line. Well, he gets tackled down at the one yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. On the option, he'll pitch it. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. Looking to throw, it's Hennigan. He tries to take the top off. Makes the grab down the left side. Running toward the tape. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Tiger. And I think in the pre-snap, I think both of these guys were on the same page. They had a look defensively that let them know we can pitch this thing way down the field. I'm going to go run under it and make a big play for it. Yeah, and when I'm the receiver, I'm like, I'm open, right? I I'm, I'm going straight down the field. Throw me the football. I got the speed. I can beat this guy. You can tell they've done that so much in practice. They knew it was second nature, and they executed it perfectly. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. That one's going to get a little star mark beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. They'll try the run. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's got his man. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And a great play design here in this type of situation, obviously trailing and trying to put something up on the scoreboard and just using the sideline, using the boundary, getting the ball out of bounds and stopping the clock. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Brown wants to pass. Gets away from one. He lost it high and deep down the left side. It is incomplete, and now there are four seconds remaining. Hey, listen, the quarterback didn't get the completion on that throw, but that doesn't mean you can't try again. Trusting your playmakers outside to push the field and stretch it vertically and make a play for you. It won't surprise me to see this QB take more shots as this game goes on. They'll go to the air on third and short. 
Ball in the air. Intercepted. Got some room to run. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Tigers. What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he did get that extra point through the slippery surface, no problem. First half in the book. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Got things teed up and just about ready to go here in the second half. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And those long shots, man, I tell you what, it takes a little bit longer to develop. So as a quarterback, you know you got to buy a little bit of time. Mad respect, man. Hanging in there, knowing he's going to get hit, but still making the big play down the field. Memphis picking up the tempo. They go to the draw. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Yeah, the offense was trying to go draw, make it look like pass, but I'll tell you, the linebackers weren't fooled. They came down hard quickly, got into the backfield, and got the tackle for us. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Anderson with the carry. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Here on third down for this offense. Back to throw, it's Hennigan. Works the middle. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. He stops him at the 31, but not before. He picks up 10 yards on the play. In halftime in this locker room, there was a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think the coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. They get him stopped at the 26, but not before he picks up five yards. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Now the play fake. Fires to the big fella. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Yeah, and nice job by the defense. That's what you're supposed to do. As soon as they catch the football, you want to limit that yards after the catch, and he went nowhere after the catch. Nice job by the D. Third and short from the 26. Pretty easy field goal range, but they'd love to pick up the first. From the gun, wants to pass. Got out of trouble and throws. Complete and looking for enough for the first down. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. 
They'd hoped to get him in space, create running room, and there just wasn't anything there. Yeah, I love the third down aggressive, in-your-face defense, not giving you any room to run down the field. Great job by the defense. They saw the throw, the quick pass, reacted to it, got him on the ground for a loss. It didn't make them sweat at all. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. Memphis. They'll kick it away after Number putting up a field goal on that last drive. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. Running back searching for a hole. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. The Bulls racing to the line in the hurry up. He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And as a defensive player, you see so much option nowadays and so many different variants of it. And you got to play very disciplined, sound football. And you could tell he knew he was responsible for the quarterback. He goes and gets him, sits him on the ground, creates a tackle for a loss. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. On the option, he's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Loses three. Now, fourth down. And the Bulls will call on their punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. And the punt team able to swing him to the ground. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. They'll go to the ground. And he's almost to that first down marker. They're saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. He'll do it himself. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. And I just love having a decisive quarterback. Like, give him options, but he makes a decision, sticks his foot in the ground, says, I'm going to get the first down, and he gets it. And the Tigers with the first and 10. Give to the back. Still on his feet at the 45. Make the stop at the 40, but he's got 15 yards on that one and a first down. And running backs are so good, so talented, so elusive. You see nowadays they really have the ability to make you miss, run you over. Unbelievable effort. Nice job. You keep that going, it's going to be hard to stop. The Tigers are in the hurry up. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. He makes the connection. The pass on first down, caught by the receiver. Picks up six. Second down coming up.
Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. Setting up for a first and 10 from the 26. Use the play fake, now to throw. Quick strike complete. They get him down after he makes a catch. You want to talk about building a drive around a guy first on the ground and now using him in the passing game. And you get so much bang for your buck because you can split him out wide. You can fake it to him and throw it. This is the guy that really stretches the field and makes you decide how you want to defend him. A linebacker, a safety, whatever it is, it's usually not good enough when he's receiving the ball out of the backfield. And the defense, they've got him at the 27. You can just see the excitement this defense has every play. They're almost wishing this quarterback drops back to throw because they know they're going to get home to him. That's the sixth time they've registered a sack. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. To the air, it's Hennigan. Getting some heat. He's got the back in the middle. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. It's good. And that lead grows even bigger. That makes the score Memphis 23, South Florida 7. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. From the gun, running back gets to give. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. The Bulls want to pick up the tempo. Just feeds the running back. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. And he throws another interception, his third one of the night. Touchdown Memphis! How about that D coming up with a play like that? How about a game-changing play for this defense? Stepping in front of the football and knowing what to do with it, taking it all the way to the end zone. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That makes the score Memphis.
They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. Here's the return from inside his 10. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. Off play action on first down. Trying to escape and get it himself. Tackled there by the defense. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. And now on second down for this offense. On the move, it's right. Smashes through. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. It, what could have been set up in a long yardage situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And the Bulls will move the sticks with the first down. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. That's the end of the third quarter. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. The sure hands. It's right. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And that's why, if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. Trying to find his man on first down. He lobs one high down the left side. Makes the grab. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, South Florida. Yeah, and that's simple, but it's not easy. It's a go route. Like, th th that receiver streaking straight down the outside of the field. And my job as a quarterback is to put that ball up in the air, keep it away from the safety. He does just that. Receiver comes down with the catch. Nice pitch, nice catch, touchdown. And now they'll try to get the two point conversion, guys. Brown will throw it. Coming after it. Forced out of the pocket. Into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and now they trail by just 15. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside the 10, here he comes. And the returner is stopped. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. Leaves it with the bat. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? You gotta have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm gonna start and I'm gonna stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. Then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job in the base defense making a play. He unleashes a long one. And here's the pick, and oh, did they need that right now. After making the interception, he took it all the way back and sets up his offense at the 17-yard line. 
That's one of the only ways you were getting back in this game. You had to force a turnover. You still got to score twice at least to get back in this ball game to try to win it. Great stop. Now it's the offensive turn. I need to score and score quickly. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. The Bulls in the hurry up. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And it'll be a pickup of nine. They're facing a third and one. Yeah, another good run. I feel like we could put that on loop, Jesse. Just another good run, another good run, another good run. Over 150 yards on the day. He's been the complete package, showing off all his skills today. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. He's going to look for a man on third and short. Gets it out quickly. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Bulls! Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. And with the lead sitting at nine, they'll try to make it a one-possession game. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he got into the house from the sixth to finish it. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Memphis has the ball back, and the offense ready to go to work. The run from the shotgun. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Looking to throw a 10 again. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. That's a throw the QB would like to have back. He just has to do a better job giving his receiver a chance to make the catch. They come to the line facing third and long from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. Memphis getting set to snap it on first and ten. The inside handoff. At the 45 on its way. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. Not much can impose your will on a defense like popping a big run. Especially when they know you're going to run it, right? This offense right now is just more physical. They're more physical up front in the trenches. And this running back and his ability to break tackles, that is just so demoralizing for this defense. They'll throw it on first down. 
Got a man. It's Anderson. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Still some work to do after that last completion. It's second down. Here's the handoff. He breaks a tackle. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. A manageable distance on third down as they try to convert from the 20. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And I love this. And if I'm on offense, I'm trying to eat that clock, let it tick down. A field goal here, I'm up by two possessions. My, I'm still in a very good place. I don't have to get over-aggressive, Jesse, if I don't want to. No, and you can put this game out of reach, too. You can score a touchdown. This thing's basically over. And you know at this area of the field, it's really hard to throw the football because the windows are so small. So be the more physical team go ice this game. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. Looking downfield, it's Hennigan. Pocket starts to collapse. Took a shot as he threw. Another incompletion on third down. And that's exactly what I want from my quarterback. I trust you. I want to throw the ball down the field on third and long, make a play. But understanding the situation, throw that thing to the crowd. Now a field goal puts me up by two possessions in the fourth quarter where I like my chances. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Between the uprights, it's good. And now the lead is extended a little far. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing the game. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. They'll try the right side. On the move at the 30. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Moving out of the pocket. Going to try to get it himself. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. These guys aren't keen on I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense nowadays. And the Bulls will hustle to the line. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. From 
from the gun. The running back looking for room. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. When the running back gets going and gets ahead of steam like that, so hard to get to the ground. That's why you blitz. That's why you bring pressure. That's why you bring more guys in the box so you can get him before he gets going. But once he got going, you could tell it was hard to get a hand on him, hard to get him to the ground. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Starting to feel a little pressure. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. I think he did a really good job, first of all, keeping his eyes down. Though. You could see he wanted to throw the football. But when it's not there, don't force it. Tug it down, get some positive yards. Tempo and overdrive. Just when they're looking run, now up top. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've seen throughout this drive success for the offense when they've been running the quarterback. Finally, though, the defense got it right. Everybody played their assignment. They honed in on him, and they got a big stop. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Complete, out of the backfield, looking for the sticks. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. You know, you just can't coach toughness in quarterbacks. This guy's been sacked multiple times in this one, and on that last play, he gets drilled again, but he delivers a strike. I'll tell you what, this, this guy's going to be in an ice bath after the game. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Quarterback moving. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Brown wants to pass. Unleashes to the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Yeah, just got enough of the football there by the defender breaking on the football, getting his hand on it. He couldn't bat it down, but he got a fingertip on it, tipped that thing away from the receiver, made the big play, saving the touchdown. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Dances away. is building if only there's enough time to finish time is ticking but man you gave yourself a chance now now the defense go out do your job we got the moment if you give me the ball back i'm gonna win let's go defense he is denied no good on the two-point try and the lead remains at five that keeps the score memphis 33 about to kick it away after scoring the touchdown and he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. Okay, Jesse, this is a little bit of a tight spot. You'd love to be aggressive enough to get the first down, but you've got to take care of the ball first. No doubt. I was going to say, ball security is at a premium. You cannot turn the football over at this point. The defense has three timeouts left, David, so probably conservative play calling here. You're expecting them to try to run to ice this game. Conservative, I know they're going to be aggressive, but I also know that one first down 
ends this football game. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. And ball security at this point is at a premium for this offense. You're backed up in your own end. You've got the lead, so you want to be able to run the football and stay on the field, bleed the clock. But you know the defense is going to be ripping away at it, right? They're going to be trying to get hats to the football and forcing a fumble. So whoever's got the ball has got to have two hands on it this drive. And it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. Couldn't find much breathing room to return it, but the interception has this offense in business at the 27. Looking for a productive play on first down. He'll start this drive firing. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys in a coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. Brown will throw it. A shot for the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Well, you know the defense felt freaked out on that one. You're in the fourth quarter, and you're lined up against one of the fastest players in all of college football, and they're taking a shot up top. You just hold on tight and hope for the best, and that time they were able to force an incompletion. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. And the sophomore has to get that one out in front of his receiver. I know they've got all their timeouts left, but it feels like this is the ball game right here. Fourth down, the quarterback's got to do something special, knowing that they need a touchdown here to win. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. Desperate to convert, and he'll throw it. Unleashes one deep. And that one is picked off in the end zone. And that is a bad breaker. It's fourth down, though. Listen, you got to throw the football. you got to try to make a play. But the defense came up big in a big moment. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. So that defense keeps the lead right where it is and a chance to build on it, David. Yeah, the defense did a great job. Now the offense, you know what you're going to get from this defense. They have to be aggressive. They're trying to get the football back later in the game, Jesse. Because they're going to be so aggressive too, David, you know on offense now you have a chance to break one maybe in the run game or finding a one-on-one -on -one matchup in the passing game to really pad the lead. The give from the gun. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Leaves it with the running back. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Memphis will send the punt team onto the field. He gets a block. Returns going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. Brown wants to pass. Got his man on the right. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. 
And how about the defense? How big was that stop? Forcing the punt, getting it back to the offense, and all of a sudden, you feel the momentum now on their side. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. Every second is meaningful, and they save a few of them with the spike. Brings up second down. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. He's looking to throw. Going for it all. He hauled that one in down the right side, but couldn't stay in bounds. Almost had himself six. Man, you know the defensive coordinator on that play was holding his breath because in the fourth quarter, you've got one of the fastest players in the game going deep on you. And that's going to be a helmet sticker for somebody. Like, forcing an incompletion against that guy? That's incredible. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. They're trying to get to it. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. What a fantastic job by the defense that time, forcing the incompletion. They've got the lead late, setting up fourth down. Can they come up with one more stop? If they get it, they might win this game. And here we go, down a score. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll go up top, maybe a deciding play here. Throws toward the end zone. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation.